Leo, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. Let's go over the basics real quick so we're all on the same page. Yours and theirs is an energy read between yourself and someone else. Therefore, it does not have to center around a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover type situation. It's whomever fits that dynamic as I'm describing it. Therefore, it could be family member, friend. It's up to you. Yeah? So take what resonates, leave what does not. Reverse those energies as you see fit, more so with yours and theirs, as energy exchange and interchange is real, rapid, and fluid. That being said, these are still general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. And that is frustrating, I know, but it's also very, very normal. Check your other placements, you will find yourself in there somewhere. Okay, let's get going, please. Show me that Leo of collective energy. Show me Leo, please. Show me Leo. What's going on, please, for Leo and their person? Show me Leo and their person. Show me Leo and their person. Show me Leo and their person, please. Show me Leo. And their person. Okay. We're going to start with your side of the board, but as I explained in the intro, reverse those energies as you see fit. Show me Leo, please. For your side, Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think someone's trying to meet you where you are, but you're kind of trying to figure out if that's good enough for you. Okay. Shared. Two of Cups. The Hermit. The Three of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Overview. King of Wands. There you are. Good. You're showing me a particular energetic stamp that says, I don't know if that's good enough for me, but you are seriously contemplating it as a viable option, whatever this connection is. Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and Seven of Wands. You're saying stop, halt, all production right now. You're not saying dismiss it. You're not saying scrap it. You're not saying end it. But you're kind of saying whatever's growing here between you and I, whatever this connection is or stands for, you're saying it needs evaluation. Okay. There's a big concern for you here that while things are on track in the 3D, right, on the 3D, okay, things are built a certain way. They stacked up a certain way. Seven of Pentacles is at a clear resting point. You're saying that's not the concern. How it shapes up in the 3D is how it shapes up in the 3D. You're saying emotionally, though, there's no development here. I don't know if I want to continue on this way. Someone attached to you says, yeah, I know, I'm aware. And yet I'm still willing to give it my not best effort, but practical everyday effort, Six of Pentacles. So they're showing me Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups. Even they admit, okay, that they are... Emotionally absent in the heart space in terms of loving themselves and how they love themselves in their connection with you because everything begins with the self. So if someone's emotionally dissatisfied in the connection, they experience it as an individual first and they admit um, they're not showing up into the heart space the way they should. It's not terribly fulfilling. Do they have the capacity? Yes. Is it coming through? Not so much. Okay. We tend to love connections as deeply as we love ourselves. So if this person is disconnected from who they are and how they feel about themselves and it's long standing, eventually they're going to show that same level of disconnectedness in the connection too. But uh, they're saying, I'm willing to continue to keep putting pentacles into it. What say ye? You're like, that's not the issue. It's like I say, the, the Leo I'm looking at, it's not about, you know, how fast we have built something. It's not about how long you and I have been together on the path. It's emotional fulfillment we're talking about today, ladies and gentlemen. Do I still see myself in this as being emotionally satisfied and harmonized with you and the other folks that are in our lives that are also equally important? So you're saying it's not about the speed or how many pentacles you and I have put into this. Are we emotionally present? And they're like, not so much. But they admit it, so I'll give them that. Shared, Two of Cups, the Hermit, the Three of Pentacles, you know, shedding light on this, whomever is identifying more as that Hermit, okay, is saying, yeah, there's some feeling here, but it might be a little bit more on the friendly side, Three of Pentacles. If we actively construct this or continue to work through it, if we are on the so-called same page, are we on the same page as friends? Is there still something here to work with? I can tell that you both value that earthbound practical energy too, what shows up in reality, okay? 
But that question is, are we putting our best emotional selves into this and still kind of quote unquote mean it? Overall, you are you, the King of Wands. We're going to start right there. Show me that King of Wands, please. Let's see that King of Wands. I know things are in motion for you in the 3D. Okay. Not only that, they seem to be set in place. And you know that you can cooperate with this person. It's You could keep on keeping on if you wanted. You know that. They know that. And even what's shared between you is this proposed idea. It's like there's still something here to work with. Is that good enough, though? Are we better as friends? Hmm. Let's see that King of Wands, please. The Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, Death. Oh, that is a serious accusation, I must say. You know, everything looks so straightforward on the baseline. I'm not saying it's easy. It's not without its complications. I can tell time has passed between you and this person that says we're functionary. That's about it. You know, but we're used to the function. There's still some emotional capacity between you and I. Is it where either one of us wants it, so on and so forth. But when I clarify you directly, you take it further. You take it further, so thank you for your honesty. You're saying time has passed under your eye, under your evidence, under your energy. That's you. Time has passed. Our person of significance and value is not so much. So the Empress, we must remember, and Emperor, they stand for empowerment, but take that word aside, okay, because it gets misconstrued so often in tarot. Let's take that word empowerment aside. Let's say this is a person of significant value in our life. Again, doesn't have to be a spouse. This is someone who has commanding weight or authority. This is the person we check in with more often than not because they have some say. We can't pretend that they don't. This is the person that we kind of think about. I should check in with them first before I do X, Y, Z. Make sense? Okay. And so the Empress in Tarot represents high levels of productivity. Why? Because she understood that she is loved and therefore secure. So when the Empress stops feeling loved and secure, she stops producing. Okay? Or she's faded over time or she no longer wants the responsibility or he no longer wants the responsibility of being that go-to functionary person. Okay? So who they are in your life, do they still expect to have a certain level of authority there? You're saying, well, even if they expect it, you don't really feel like giving it. You're saying this person no longer holds this way they once did. They're no longer productive. And again, that's kind of a serious accusation here. And here is your particular energetic ID stamp, and I'm saying you reflect on someone else. And I can kind of see it. It's right here. That's why I'm not interpreting this as you. I don't think you've lost your sense of self, empowerment, or productivity. I think this is your reflection of the other. Okay. If I had really thought that was you, I would have told you. I just don't see it that way. I see you reflecting outward on a serious issue here. So whom this is to you, I don't know. But you're saying time has passed. You have enough, again, accumulated evidence while you seem to remain yourself. That this situation person no longer has that level of authority in your life, or at least you feel that they shouldn't. Okay. This is not the person we want to check in with anymore, not because of that sense of obligation, but because we want to. Their opinion or feeling really means a lot to us. That's the theory. The theory doesn't seem to be in function or practice anymore. Okay? Hmm. Not so producing, not so giving, not so loving, not so generous. Okay, let's jump on to you as an individual. So it's a very serious reflection. Mind you, you put a halt. And it wasn't hard to put a halt to that particular growth. You're saying you're very familiar with that particular growth and it's not going anywhere. You're saying that's not the point. I want to see how you estimate the Ten of Cups. Let's see that Ten of Cups, please, for Leo. Some of that Ten of Cups, please, for Leo.
Three of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Let me make this clear. Um, whatever this is to you, you're saying it should feel a hell of a lot different than it does. Ten of Cups is here twice. That's not incidental. I know you put a lot of faith and value into your emotional harmony. This is the proximity of our family circles. Those people that I would sell you have emotional stakeholders in your life. You are part of theirs, okay? Uh, so this is everybody whom you feel emotionally compelled to have in your life in some way, okay? So it's like the Ten of Pentacles, just again at the water value. Okay, this is whom I'm connected to and why. This is my relationship with this person and this person and this person. And the idea is harmony. We all kind of get along and know our place or function within that circle. Mom, dad, brother, sis. We may not always get along. We're not exactly peas in the pod, but still, it's part of my circle and it's sacred to me. Okay. You're saying whatever this is to you, that three of pentacles, five of pentacles, it's broken. It's not cooperating and it's kind of throwing the dynamic off in terms of your emotional comfort level and where you find yourself and why you say that you are confused by your role in this. What is my role in this? For something that's so important to me and it seems to be very important to you, your emotional value, you're saying you don't know or understand your role in it or theirs. How are we supporting each other? Because I prize harmony amongst my connections, excuse me, connections at the emotional level. I, I don't understand my place with you or you and mine. Again, that was an opening with a very serious accusation with you saying, I know who I am. But this connection, Christina, has a way of making me feel less than. Less than emotionally connected and it's, 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 it's non-functioning, really, and not even as friendship, and that's saying something. It does not lend to my sense of connectivity. What is my place here? Am I a spouse? Am I a husband? Am I a wife? Because I don't feel like one. Am I even a friend to this? My connection here is supposed to be so much more emotionally enriching than all this. So I see your side of the kind of argument here, the spiritual argument, if you will, that you had always dreamed of being part of something larger and knowing your place in it, and it would give you emotional comfort. And you're saying, whomever it is that you connected to in this life and that you gave so much respect and authority to, you're saying that's not there. It makes you question your own level of connectivity to it and how it perceives you. A non-functioning kind of partner in there. And you're saying the repairs never stop repairing. It never feels right. It never feels comfortable or hasn't felt comfortable in a long time. And you understanding your role and how does it propel you? How does it lift you? How has it changed you or shaped you? You're saying, it. if, if anything, it de-evolves, right? It de-evolves. The challenge, it seems, Christina, whatever, it, see, this is how you know a good connection, guys, a healthy one between a non-healthy one. If it's going to challenge you, and a healthy connection does, it should challenge you to propel upwards or outwards, not inwards and feel fragmented and disconnected, making you question yourself and your place in it. That's an unhealthy connection because it's an unhealthy challenge because you're in a position where you can never fix that particular challenge or rise towards it if someone is determined to not allow you. So that's how you know it's an unhealthy connection. A healthy connection raises you, moves you up, moves you forward. <clears throat> but what it doesn't do is make you question your place in it. Because that's a challenge you will never be able to fix if someone's not prepared to let you fix it. That's an unhealthy challenge. Okay. So I see you. It's like I can never fix this and I can never find my place in it or haven't felt my place in it in a long time. And you're saying a big part of that is that this energy does not allow you to or make you feel welcome because it itself is not giving or generous. Do you see how it's connected? Uh, moving on. I want to go ahead. I'm not going to stay there too long. I think this speaks for itself. You're kind of metaphorically and possibly even in 3D halting all production, if you will, because of its current status. I understand. Let's see that Seven of Pentacles. Let's see that Seven of Pentacles. Seven of, seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. 
Show that seven of pentacles, please. Nine of pentacles, the king of pentacles, judgment. Oh, yes. No, that's why you've halted. Do you understand the plan here? Kind of, you're, you're showing me a particular stamp today. If this isn't your reading, cool. It's very distinct. It's either you or it's not you. That's it. End of story. Okay? So take what resonates, etc. You have halted all production in terms of 3D anymore, right? We will, it, it, Whatever this ship is, you don't seem to be welcome to fix it. That's what I'm saying. It's not a healthy challenge and it's not a healthy connection for that reason. Will it ever be? I don't know. Because in your estimation, you're like, it keeps adding up the same way and it's broken pieces. Okay. You haven't done anything. This is under contemplation. Seven of Pentacles. It's been a slow kind of forthcoming movement within you about whether or not you would be better suited to part ways and go your own way. You're showing me a strong sense of individuation because, again, you're showing me you know who you are. And you know what it is that no longer seems to influence you or you kind of wish it didn't because it doesn't influence you correctly and it doesn't make you feel welcome or part of something larger. There's a big point in that. You don't feel like you're part of something larger and they're not helping. Something like this. But Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, let me make that clear. That's someone who is very comfortable with understanding who they are and what they can do on their own. And it seems like you've been going your own way for a long time, especially if you feel like an individual, seven, nine, in a fragmented Ten of Cups. You know? When people give you that much room to wonder about yourself and your own legacy, you can't help but see how much of an individual you are in the context of something greater. <clears throat> and it's been on your mind, judgment. There's that sense of that idea, Christina, if I pursue it, it is on me. And part of you is comforted in this because you know you could. But we haven't done anything yet. I am seeing the divide grow wider and wider, especially given your kind of energy towards this other, saying you no longer have the weight and bearing you once did. Me, I check in with myself. I feel like more of a powerful individual than I have in the context with you in a long time. I create the reality. I shape it. And all I ask for is emotional inclusion, to feel wanted, to feel needed, and to feel loved. I'm not getting that. But you're saying, I've personally never felt more powerful as an individual. It's kind of like saying that terror lady's onto something, right? <laughs> Shouldn't feel like an individual in a connection, especially if I could no longer, with a sense of good mind and spirit, responsibly check in with you and really think that your opinion has any weight anymore. That's a problem. It's a big problem. We're feeling more fragmented here. A seven of Wands, so like I said, you've halted all production while you kind of contemplate these things. Okay. In terms of giving this connection any more, because you understand that the repairs are getting lost in translation. Okay. And your sense of repairs are not being welcomed taken up on or taken seriously or you're not being greeted on the other side of those repairs as, as being taken seriously um, I don't know. let's see that seven of wands please show me that seven of wands show me that seven of wands have you done anything quote unquote no could you absolutely could you shift into a new line absolutely of yourself and who you are oh yes very much so you are hyper aware that that's a possibility so I guess that comes down to, Leo, honey, what do you want to see for yourself, you know? What do you want to experience in this life? And don't get me when I see repairs like this, it really does take two. And you're saying those repairs don't take very well. Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, 
Knight to Swords, yeah. Uh, right now, you keep showing me what you would like to do or what you would prefer to do. You would prefer to take matters into your own hands and kind of lean in towards the idea of new. Um, in fact, uh, when the time is right, I don't quite understand what you're doing. Not right now, Seven of Wands. Like I said, you've halted any further thought on this particular subject until you can arrive to a conclusion that's a little more comfortable to you. So right now that Seven of Wands stands as a blockage, but when those wands come down, when your Seven of Wands comes down, I see you releasing energy that says you're starting to talk and take action in a way that suggests Ace of Wands, possibly new. Once you've kind of molded this over a little bit more, okay, about what your intentions are. Leaving what looks like a very dissatisfying family unit, um, social, emo emotional unit, um, it won't happen right away. I want you to do what's correct for you. Because like I said, guys, that's, that's not play play. That's, that's not play play. You're saying this, this situation or person has proved itself over time and you know where you stand and you kind of know where they don't stand. So let's go ahead and jump on over to this person. Okay, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles here. That's kind of a strong admission that, you know, they don't feel the same way anymore because they don't feel the same way about themselves. See what I'm saying? But there's still the offer there. Well, we can keep it going with the Six of Pentacles, which we've discussed. You're saying that's, that's not really the gig. That's the easy part. You're saying it's the 3D. That's the easy part. <laughs> You're like, I could do that by myself. You made that clear. <laughs> What you wanted and what you've always wanted, I believe, is emotional inclusion into something bigger. An emotional home. That ties you in deep into your roots and gives you something to create a pentacle world around, you know? And, uh, I can see it's there, and I do believe it's there on both sides. I believe you have your own particular ten of cups as an individual, and whomever it is you're connected to as well, but just doesn't seem very welcoming anymore. At least on one person's side of that particular fence. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Show me that Ace of Cups. Now, yours and theirs, you will note, is not called verses. You gave me a very strong kind of opinion and check-in about where you are with them and how you perceive them, okay? Particularly about your lack of care for their particular opinion and um, voice, opinion, and you're saying that's based on experience. I don't contest that, but I do want to see, of course, their sign, all right? Uh, I will say this, guys, if we are over the 10 minute, okay, I will call an asshole an asshole. But from any point of view that you have, there's a good chance your person, whomever they are, they have their own particular point of view. And I will say... They're kind of honest about that heart space, about how they have been emotionally absent. They're aware of that. Okay. Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the King of Swords, I see. They're, uh, so I don't, again, this doesn't make this person bad. It's just a particular energetic shift that they have settled upon, and it is indeed a settling in order to kind of compensate for the lack of emotional uh, forthrightness. They kind of go into a, well, I know what's up energy, King of Swords and the Six of Wands. And they're saying, so long as I know what's up, you know, I can't be faulted for not participating. So it's kind of like saying, you can have me, you just can't have my feeling. And uh, <laughs> I get it. It happens quite a bit um, when someone becomes emotionally absent. This person, unfortunately, is attached to emotional absence a couple of times. So this is a longstanding issue. In other words, this didn't happen last week. It's been going on for months, guys, possibly longer. Okay. But that King of Swords is adamant that even though you can't really have access to my feelings, I'm still here. And they're showing me confidence with that decision. Um, so it's, it's kind of one of those things, guys, you have to understand if that's enough for you. Okay. It's almost coming across a little bit prideful, you know. It's like I made the decision and I'm confident about it. You know, I'm still here. My heart space isn't really for you because I myself am out of touch with it. Um, it's here twice. But uh, I'm still showing up, though. They're like, that should count for something, right? And then you're saying, well, that's one of the biggest reasons you and I are connected is to be part of a 
larger emotional circle. Otherwise, what the heck are we doing here? Because you're saying, I don't feel included. Look, we're surrounded by Ten of Cups. So that tells me you have a very rich Ten of Cups on your side, and they do as well. And you're saying, you don't feel welcome. And there's the space of repairs. I feel like somebody's divided up the family lines. It's kind of like, you stay on your side of your Ten of Cups, and I'll stay over here on my Ten of Cups, and we can't cross over. There's something like that. You know? And you're like, no, that... That defeats the whole purpose. I always wanted to be part of something larger. You're like, the pentacles was easy. Why don't I feel included despite all my efforts? And they're not being well received, and you're not meeting me halfway. I want to see that eight of cups, please. You know, I kind of feel like you've been cut off from a big part or a big chunk of why you wanted to be connected to this person in the first place. You're saying they're not fulfilling that emperor duty at all. No sense of generosity there at all. To their personal self or to the thing that they agreed to let you be part of, you know? You are not welcome. You are not included on my side. It's something like that. And yet, you can still have access to me, just not the biggest part. Mm. Ace of Wands, Five of Swords, the Devil. Yeah, okay. Um, don't like that. <laughs> yeah, the self-sabotaging here. Absolutely. Um, it's self-sabotaging. I don't know how deep this goes, but it's self-sabotaging in the sense of I know I'm emotionally checked out from this. And uh, they don't want you to move on. They want to keep this connection going. They've made that clear. But it's false front. It's a lie. Five of Swords with that Ace of Wands. I'm going to keep showing this renewed energy, even though my heart's literally not in it. So that's not a great combination at all. This person has a tendency to lie at their emotional face value and saying that's what I want. I chose it. And I can say that with confidence. I believe them. But this is why you keep showing me I'm trying to do repairs and they're not cooperating. That's because they don't believe in it. They give you a flash of energy that all is well, or everything's fine, or that you should have hope, but the proof keeps lacking in that particular 3D pudding. So that's that's not so good, guys. That's not so good. A little bit of emotional disconnectivity, everybody experiences it, and you start staying there in the long term, it's, starting to, it, it's time to start asking questions why. But uh, you showed me an Ace of Wands for very different reasons in future. This is their version of it, and it comes with it attached to it a lie based on fear. I am totally, totally, I want you to see if you can hear the lie. I'm totally psyched up to be here. This is a thousand percent what I want. Absolutely, I still feel okay about it, but I'm confident with my decision that this is correct. Please don't go, because I don't know what else to do. But I totally believe this can work out if we just continue to make time and space for each can I am I done reassuring you with my bullshit now can we go I'm concerned because this is literally at the heart of the reading this eight of cups okay I'm, I'm concerned that's a forced lie and it's one based on the fact that they cannot come to terms with the fact that they themselves are emotionally absent and when we can't be honest with ourselves with such a... You know, you see the cracks for yourself, and this is why the so-called repairs don't stick or stay. It's because they're literally not meeting you. They're halfway. They're, they're talking out of the side of their mouth, and it's coming from fear. So they spark up that Ace of Wands. Here's some hope. Can we please get past this now and just go back to normal? And uh, you're, you're kind of tired of falling for the same bullshit. Okay. So again, doesn't mean that they're a bad person, but when you cannot be honest with yourself about the deepest spaces of your heart where it's absent, I, I'm just assuming it's shame for this person. They know they should feel more. They know that they should be more considerate for your efforts. They know that they're not including you, that uh, you've been walled off from the emotional circles. And then they're like, no, no, everything's fine. Um, that's not happening at all. That's, oh my God, that's, that's not happening at all. I still want to include you in all things personal 
because you're, you're part of my personal I have to remember that. I have to remember to include you as part of my personal life, even though I don't want you there and I'm lying to you about it. So that's I have a big problem with that. There's a reason why you had such a deadpan opening, because it was, that was really real, eh? That was really real. So the question is, honey, how long are you going to block off what looks like the inevitable? Because I'm, I don't know about you, but I find this utterly intolerable. So, so that's me. That's not, you know, that's not you. You might find that the pentacle world with this person ultimately is more comforting than their lack of emotional true self. That's a straight up outward lie. It's agreeing to stay in the connection to still make something of it. Um, but you already kind of know the futility. You opened up with it. Okay. The Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups. My, 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 this person is so very cold. I'm so very cold and detached. There's that Ten of Cups again, see? And Five of Cups is subtracting it, see? Let's keep balancing and then we can pretend all is well. Is that enough for you? Terror doesn't dictate anything you do. This person, like I said, let me make this clear to you, is perfectly fine maintaining that all is well on the surface, even though it's not. And if they say the Ten of Cups between us is a little broken and fragmented, so be it. At least we can tell everybody that everything looks okay. You know the truth of the person's heart and rather the lack of it, and that they're too afraid to own it, so they'll just keep it going even if nothing else for face value. For some reason, face value with this person's family or Ten of Cups is really high, even though you're clearly marked off or roped off from really engaging in it. It's, it's like they really want to isolate their true connection with you from their family. They don't want the family and friends to see what they don't have with you. So it's a weird combination of wanting to save face and not allowing you to participate it simultaneously. I call bullshit. You, no. You don't get to tell all your family and friends, all, all is well, we've been together for how many years? That's more than what most people can say, ha, ha, ha. But then... That person never shows up to the family functions or the social functions for one reason or another. They find reasons to exclude you. This person's got a lot of I gotta save face in front of the family thing going on by excluding you. Because I guess if you showed up, they'd see the truth on your face and how you interact with them. All right, let's get over here. Let's see, uh, let's see that two of cups. Let's see that two of cups, please. I mean, I like how you look on your own. You don't have to say face to anybody there. Or put up with the pretense of that person's lie. Yes? Let's see that two of cups. Well, this is so very frustrating and disappointing. It's leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, I'm going to have to brush my teeth after this one. Let's see that two of cups, please. Show me that two of cups. Show me that two of cups. So within frame, just barely. I, it's like I concluded I finally just need to put my chair up. I'm, I'm tall, guys, 5'9". It's Even though it, I might be cutting off the top of my head, I don't care. I can't stand sitting low. I can't stand it. That's why I'm calling, <laughs> doing that. So I like, I'd just rather sit higher, and if it takes off the top of my head, so be it. I don't care. All right, Page of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Knights of Wands. Yeah, when you think about this so-called love with this person, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be uh, a mean person, guys. It's just the idea is that this is the simplest form of love. This is what's supposed to be between us. It's really simple. This is between you and me. Even if we took the family, and there's major arguments around that Ten of Cups, you feel isolated and they allow it. They want it to still maintain face, etc. We've been over it. It's grossly disappointing. This is the most simple form of give and take love there is page of wands ten of swords the knight of wands and just the idea of you leaving it makes you feel a little better as again just to repeat i have not seen you do it that's still on hold until you know what the heck you're doing eventually you will relinquish that seven of wands and release some form of communication that requires you to take action i think in terms of how you express your ace of wands and how they express their ace of wands are two different aces of wands yeah Oh, laundry. Let's see that hermit, please. Show me the hermit, show me the hermit, show me the hermit. 
some of that Hermit, please. Where are we on time? Yep, got to wrap it up. Well, I can tell you right now, I'm not going to bother with the check-in oracle. I think we're well past that. The Fool, Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I agree. Bye. You, I told you you need to understand if this barely cooperative foe, let's pretend to get along for face value reasons, friendship is what you wanted. All you wanted was the enrichment, enrichment of an, a deep emotional circle attached to your side, which you bring, and their side. They started isolating you, I don't know how long ago, but still keep up with the lie that all is well. You know it's not. You've tried to make repairs on both sides that they could feel comfortable engaging with yours. So you could go back to feeling comfortable in theirs and you don't feel welcome. You know, that you'd have to have somebody meet you halfway and just give you more than empty words. Okay. Oh, I still want this. Totally. Like, I love this situation. I, you know what? It, that doesn't matter. What matters is that we still kind of cooperate and get along after all these years. Isn't that what matters? So I just don't like the distinct lie and saving face. I, I don't have time for pride and ego and uh, our connections that are meant to be more fulfilling than this. If that's all you can do is come up with reasons to stay based on face value, we got problems. So you got to learn at some point, guys, about uh, how you look to others doesn't matter because you're going to get judged anyway. For doing something, for not doing something, you will be judged. So you might as well judge you first and foremost about whether or not this is something that calls to you and you still want it or you don't. But when you compromise yourself like this, you look like a fool, honestly. You know, if something happens, I don't want to look foolish. You make yourself look foolish. And twisting yourself up like this and lying and crap like that. The hermit. The hermit, guys, has an automatic healing. The, in, the idea is insight and wisdom first to understand if something's healable. You've already been there, done that. Okay, you've tried. The full six of swords, the three of pentacles, I agree. Uh, moving up and open and beyond this is friendship. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it to me. Uh, even the most basic sense of fundamental repairs. I see you contemplating this. The fool and the six of swords. Perhaps it's best just to leave it behind and even trying to maintain that pretense of friendship. Even some sort of workable construct again. You're saying you're broken from it. You've tried. You've done it. Based on wisdom and experience, that tells me you've tried again with this person. I see what their version of cooperation is. It's not good. So that's what I'm saying. Once that seven of wands, the embargo, lifts, your communication and line of action opens up differently. Based on experience. Let's see that three of pentacles then. Yeah, moving up, being the fool appropriately. It would being the fool is not being a fool at all when you know and based on experience that it would be more foolish of you to stick around and trying to keep working on this. Let's see that three of pentacles, please. Let's see that three of pentacles, please. Let's see that three of pentacles. The sun, the hermit, the knight of pentacles. Yeah, I just... Guys, I, I, I just see you wanting to make a new beginning for yourself. You've clearly left this three of pentacles behind. So this three of pentacles then towards the very end is opening up as a brand new beginning for you. One where you can start over or start at the basics and take your own time with it. You already showed me a competence at the individual level then. So the sun, the hermit, the knight of pentacles, no matter how slowly you're going to use you. Some of you have some really interesting Virgo in your chart, possibly. You've settled up your mind about this. We're going to move away from it. Based on experience, you understand it's going to end up the same way that Three of Pentacles in is representing from scratch. Clean slate energy then. With the sun, the hermit, the knight of pentacles, once more your experience is here telling you that you will fill more, more days with another blueprint. The knight of pentacles here being that blueprint over a very basic plan to start over the fundamentals, the building blocks of life. But you're going in with a great deal of experience. Okay. I just... Gonna let you know right now, I completely 100% agree with your decision. Okay. Um, I see.
see you opening up in a direction that says I'm just I'm going to start over. I always knew I could. And I'm really going to focus this time on what makes me happy, the essence of me. And you're going to part ways with whatever this is peacefully. Okay, good job. Okay. Toxicity, bound patterns, no shit. Call that one a mile off. What else, please? Because of the self-worth issues, when you don't understand what your self-worth is, you will lie to yourself first and foremost, and then therefore to other people. Uh, the isolation techniques, the minimization, the not cooperation. Um, again, this is what happens when you can't own yourself and you're, you're just like, I'm going to save face by lying to everyone and telling them we're okay when it's clearly not. This is, there's nothing noble about that or honorable. It's very cowardly. And that's because we can't own who the hell we are. Everything begins with itself. And the more you cannot understand yourself or you refuse to, you create double patterns and you won't think twice about it. Whereas somebody who lives and appreciates reality and what they're actually experiencing sees how there is non-cooperation and non-healthy efforts here to make repairs and how you're being isolated for more and more from what should be yours by all rights. You opened it with it. You saw this for yourself over time. This empress is no empress. Empress, perhaps they once were. Well, you got to work with what happens today, not what happened yesterday. Okay. Self-energy, manifest, harvest for some of you next autumn. Okay, next autumn will represent that space of freedom for you. Self-care, energy, manifest for yourself, absolutely. Do what it is that they cannot and do right by you, okay? Because that's, at the end of the day, what's going to count. That's enough. Leo, honey, I hope this helped you. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.